Good evening, I'm John Purvis. The Socorro School Board faces a major budget shortage, has placed its outgoing superintendent, Nate Carmen on paid leave, and asked the Texas Education Agency to take over the district's governance. And now trustees have appointed the person they want to deal with all these issues as interim superintendent. CBS4 attends Harrison Parker is at Socorro ISD headquarters in Far East El Paso, where he spoke with James Foskis about how he plans to approach his new role. I spoke earlier this afternoon with the acting superintendent, James Vasquez, who was previously the deputy superintendent. He comes amidst a potential conservatorship with the Texas Education Agency, which would leave the district under the control of the state. Now, I asked him about this and several other key issues facing the district as he starts his new role. Take a listen. The big thing, again, is to address the... Uh the audit to the, the recommendations that came out through the Weaver audit uh, and address the TA audit as well. Acting Superintendent James Vasquez acknowledges the need for the Socorro School District to rebuild trust. We know that takes time and, and that's uh, something that we uh, hope to accomplish over the next several months is to uh, be open, honest, transparent uh, with, the, with the community, with our um, you know, teachers and so forth. While most school board trustees supported Vasquez's appointment, two members voted against the move. I spoke with one of them about his reservations. I think we just need to look for an outside person that can give us an objective view on the district. How do you, how do you hold somebody accountable that you've worked with? I was, I don't feel like I was necessarily uh, involved in a lot of the decisions that were made over the past couple years. Vasquez responded to Castellano's concern, expressing his intention to provide a fresh perspective. I started off at the, in this district in 1995 as, a, as an elementary school teacher, and I've uh, worked my way up because I, I, I've only been here on the job actually uh, six months ago. Since I'm still, uh, you know, coming in and looking at the processes. Vasquez says he hopes to have a full recommendation for the board by April 17th, and we'll certainly keep you posted as we learn more about those plans. Reporting from Far East El Paso, Harrison Parker, CBS4 at 10.